Number 15. Giant Amazonian Centipede This bug can dance. Instagrammer Venom Factory shares footage of a giant Amazonian centipede. Known as White Legs, this formidable creature is one of the most fascinating arthropods in the world. The Amazonian giant centipede can reach lengths of up to 12 inches, or 30 centimeters, making it one of the largest centipedes in existence. Its body is composed of 21 to 23 segments, each equipped with a pair of legs. The White Legs variety is distinguished by its contrasting leg coloration. The body is typically a dark reddish brown to black hue, while the legs are pale, giving it a unique and eerie appearance. This species is predominantly found in the tropical rainforests of South America, including regions of the Amazon basin. It is often found under logs, rocks, and within leaf litter, where it can remain hidden and hunt for prey, which it does at night as it's a nocturnal predator. The aggressive and voracious feeder preys on a wide range of animals, including insects, spiders, small mammals, birds, and even bats. It employs a powerful venom delivered through its modified front legs to immobilize and kill its prey. This venom can cause severe pain and other symptoms in humans, although it is rarely fatal. But don't worry, encounters between humans and the Amazonian giant centipede are rare due to its nocturnal and reclusive nature. However, when they do occur, they can be alarming due to the centipede's size and aggressive defense mechanisms. Bites can be extremely painful and may require medical attention, especially for those allergic to its venom. That is, if you don't die of fear first. Number 14. La Llorona While riding off-road into the darkness, TikToker Jose Maria Rios Castillo encountered something out of this world. Many in the comments believe this phantom sighting is La Llorona. We've covered La Llorona many times, but for those of you who are new to her, here's the shortened version of her history. Known as the Weeping Woman, La Llorona is a folkloric figure in Latin America. This ghost of a woman wanders near bodies of water, mourning the loss of her children children that she herself killed. Her story is both a cautionary tale and a reflection of grief, guilt, and the consequences of one's actions. Her legend begins when her husband eventually loses interest in her and spends more time away from home, often with other women. Consumed by jealousy and heartbreak, Maria drowns her children in a fit of rage and despair, only to immediately regret her actions. Overcome with guilt, she drowns herself as well. Upon reaching the afterlife, Maria is denied entry into heaven and condemned to wander the earth for eternity, searching for her lost children. Her ghostly wails are said to echo through the night, serving as both a warning and a lament. While the biker didn't hear any ghostly wails, maybe they did capture La Llorona in mourning. And if so, this nighttime bike ride has come to an end. Number 13. Cloud of Light Some people see a face in the clouds. YouTuber Styling Head looked upward and captured this. The object looks like a cloud, but not. When the OP zooms in, it seems more like a plastic bag or something man-made, only it's blinking lights. It's a cloud with lights in it. Moving weird, I've never seen a like that. 
Many in the comments are commending the OP for such steady and clear videography. Wow, the sparkly lights in it. I've never seen no shit like that. It's moving weird. But others are far more enamored with how truly bizarre this so-called cloud looks. Its behavior isn't cloud-like at all. And as it drifts away, it simply disappears. You see the sparkling lights in it. Never seen no shit like this in my life. Viewers offer up their theories in the comments. YouTuber Machine That Creates writes, Between the sparkles and the unnatural movement of the cloud, I'd say that it was definitely a cloaked phenomenon. What's a cloaked phenomenon? Another YouTuber in the comments seems to clarify this. Mona Damis 42 writes, Hundreds of people, including myself, have seen these. Apparently, they are referred to as cloud ships in the unidentified flying object community. They use a cloud-like visual as a cloak. Could this really be a cloud cloak or a cloud ship? Let's take a deeper look at these concepts. These terms refer to the belief that unidentified flying objects can disguise themselves as clouds or use advanced cloaking technology to blend into their surroundings, making them virtually undetectable by the naked eye. Cloud ships are believed to be unidentified flying objects that hide within or mimic the appearance of clouds. Proponents of this theory suggest that these extraterrestrial or advanced man-made craft can either generate clouds around themselves or project holographic images of clouds to conceal their presence. This phenomenon is often reported in areas with frequent and unusual cloud formations, where witnesses claim to have seen distinctly shaped clouds that appear to move against the wind or exhibit unusual behavior, such as rapid shape-shifting. Popular culture has played a significant role in shaping the public's perception of these phenomena with science fiction films often depicting futuristic vehicles capable of invisibility and advanced camouflage, while skeptics argue that these sightings can often be explained by natural meteorological phenomena, such as lenticular clouds or optical illusions. Believers maintain that the sheer volume and consistency of reports suggest something more extraordinary. In fact, there are dozens of commenters in this video's thread who say they've seen very similar cloud-like objects in the sky. So, are we looking at an extraterrestrial invasion or monitoring that's been artfully disguised? Maybe. Because to many, this doesn't look quite like a cloud. And that's completely uncanny. Number 12. Cory Dahlia Day Do you have a fear of insects? Then you might want to skip this one. Shared by Redditor Teti Du Cordy, this is the Corydalia Day, one of the world's largest flying insects. And frankly, it's horrifying. Commonly known as Dobson flies and fish flies, Corydaliidae are known for their impressive size, particularly the males, which can reach considerable lengths with wingspans ranging from 7 to 17 centimeters, or 2.6 to 6.7 inches. The body length of Dobson flies, excluding their long antennae, typically ranges from 5 to 10 centimeters, or 2 to 4 inches. Although they're found worldwide, Corydaliidae are prominent in the Americas. These insects often reside near water bodies, as their larvae require aquatic environments to thrive. Despite their pincers giving them a somewhat fearsome appearance, adult Dobson flies are generally harmless to humans, 
though they can deliver a painful bite if handled improperly. So take a step back and watch those pincers. Number 11. Saharan Highway Ready for a road trip? What if you couldn't see two feet in front of you? Redditor Leaftman shares this footage of a drive through the Saharan Desert in Algeria. As a sandstorm swirls through, visibility becomes almost non-existent. Many in the comments are wondering why he's still driving at top speed at this point, but he eventually pulls over. And his car is completely sandblasted. But it's what happens at the end of the clip that's giving some people pause. It looks like an oncoming vehicle is about to crash into him head on. While most can agree that this is terrifying, the general consensus is a lot of that terror could have been prevented by pulling over. Here's some advice for facing any sandstorm while on the road. Pull to the side of the road and turn on your headlights and hazard lights. This is not only due to low visibility, but the risk of sand clogging the engine and other vehicle parts. Then simply wait it out. Sandstorms in the Sahara can last from a few minutes to several hours. So hopefully, you've still got some service and some juice in your phone. Number 10. Edinburgh Castle Ghost If you know anything about Edinburgh, Scotland, you know it's ridiculously haunted, particularly its famous castle on the hill. Redditor LibsHits74 shares this photo of Edinburgh Castle, captured from below. Take a look. The figure hanging out the window looks somehow off. To some in the comments, it doesn't look like a living being. Redditor Old Butterscotch 8856 suggests a ghost on a smoke break, but to others, it looks like a normal dude. LH1466 writes, Edinburgh Castle is still an active army barracks, so it's definitely just a dude in uniform. D Punisher adds, looks like a bad face paint job as a camo attempt. More theories include a cardboard cutout or Photoshop. But later in the thread, the OP posts three more images of the figure, and this makes the post all the creepier. In these three photos, the face of the figure appears blurred, and the figure also appears to have moved, like it lifted its head. Some background on Edinburgh Castle might convert the non-believers. Perched atop Castle Rock, Edinburgh Castle is steeped in history, dating back to at least the Iron Age. It has served as a royal residence, military stronghold, and fortress throughout the centuries, witnessing countless battles, sieges, and moments of significant historical importance. This storied history has contributed to its reputation as one of the most haunted places in Scotland. One of the most famous specters to haunt Edinburgh Castle is the Lone Piper. According to legend, centuries ago, a piper was sent to explore the castle's extensive underground passages. Playing his bagpipes as he walked to guide his way, he suddenly vanished without a trace. Today, visitors and staff report hearing the eerie sound of distant bagpipes playing within the castle's walls, especially in the dead of night, as if the ghostly piper is still wandering the hidden tunnels below. The castle is fitted with haunted dungeons, where prisoners of war and accused witches lived out their last days. And the castle's Great Hall is another hotspot for supernatural sightings. Some visitors have reported encountering the spirits of soldiers and nobles, dressed in period attire, who appear to vanish in the blink of an eye. The phantom figures often seem engaged in silent conversations, 
or reenactments of historical events. So, while some may say that this figure is very much alive, Edinburgh Castle's tales of restless spirits, tragic deaths, and mysterious disappearances suggest otherwise. Number 9. Flying Figure A figure flying through the air was caught on Instagrammer Owen Sean's ring camera. And this one's undeniable. Something ghostly and semi-transparent passes through the hammock and has enough force to flip it over. It, or another figure, is later seen passing by again at the top of the camera's frame. Some are saying it's Casper. Others suggest it's a ghost playing Superman. Still others are saying it's the ghost dog from A Nightmare Before Christmas. It could also be smoke rings, as some Instagrammers believe. But that wouldn't explain the hammock flipping over on its own. Unless someone off screen pushed it. What do you think it is? Number 8. Little Figures In the dead of night, YouTuber Gwendolyn Severite captured some potentially folkloric figures on camera by the light of their flashlight and they're wondering what exactly these beings are. Watch them peek out from behind a rock. A little later, they peer out again. When they turn the flashlight on again, the figure pops out once more. They think it's an elf, but it could be any number of tiny mythological creatures. Nearly every culture has its own version of diminutive beings, and more often than not, they're sneaky. Elves are perhaps the most famous. Originating from German mythology, these pointy-eared creatures inhabit forests and magical realms. Then there are the Duendes, small mischievous creatures found in Spanish and Latin American folklore. Similar to elves, they are often associated with the natural world, particularly forests and rural areas. Duendes are known for their trickster nature playing pranks on humans, and sometimes helping or hindering them. We can't forget leprechauns. In Irish mythology, leprechauns are small, bearded fairies dressed in green, often associated with wealth and luck. They are solitary creatures, typically found mending shoes. Clever and cunning, they are adept at evading capture by humans. According to legend, if a leprechaun is caught, he must grant three wishes in exchange for his release. Brownies are Leprechaun's English and Scottish neighbors. These are small benevolent spirits that help with household chores. They are nocturnal creatures, coming out at night to tidy up homes and barns. In return for their services, they expect small offerings of food, such as bread and milk. Asian countries have small mythological beings as well. Tengu are bird-like creatures from Japan. They are considered both mischievous spirits and protectors of the mountains and forests. Tengu are skilled martial artists and are often depicted with both human and avian features, such as wings and beaks. While they can be tricksters, leading travelers astray, they are also revered as guardians of sacred spaces and skilled teachers of the martial arts. So while it's an elf, maybe our first instinct when we see this creature, there are a number of other tiny folkloric friends to choose from. What do you think this is? Number 7. Haunted Hill House 
at around 2.15 in the morning, paranormal investigators at the haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells experienced something truly haunting. Facebook user Haunted Hill House Mineral Wells shares the footage. Watch the woman on the bed. Although the view is blocked by the man standing in front of her, the woman is clearly yanked violently off of the bed by an unseen force. Here it is again. 1541. He's like, where'd she go? She just looks over and she's gone. They race out of the room, but they haven't escaped it. About an hour later, at around 3 a.m., one of the team re-enters the room and this happens. All right, so this is going to happen at 314. Drew is the guy right here in the white. So he's in here kind of provoking, saying you want to pick on a girl, pick on me. Did you see how he got pushed? Again, the ghost appears to push the paranormal team member quite hard. See how far, how hard it pushed him. This time, after they leave, something slams the door and pulls the knob. Wow. You see the knob pull? So we're gonna rewind that again. Watch the knob closely. Here we go. Watch as the doorknob closes. Look, it even lifted the screw up. Did you see the screw lift? It's clear that something evil resides here. He just looks over and she's gone. So as they run out, you can see they run out. Watch the door. Now watch the door. If you've never heard of the haunted hill house in Mineral Wells, Texas, then listen up. Constructed in the late 19th century, the hill house was originally the residence of wealthy local families, Kyle and Yeager who were instrumental in the development of mineral wells. With its Victorian architecture and lush gardens, the mansion was a testament to their affluence. Over the decades, the house changed hands several times, each owner adding to its storied history. Over the years, numerous reports of paranormal activity have emerged from the Hill House, making it a focal point for ghost hunters and enthusiasts. Visitors and residents have recounted a variety of unsettling experiences, including footsteps, strange sounds, cold spots, a child's laughter, and a ghost lady in a white dress roaming the halls. The Hill House's haunted reputation has made it a popular destination for paranormal investigators. Numerous television shows and independent researchers have explored its legends. And these researchers have filmed some pretty astounding evidence to add to it. Here we go. Watch as the doorknob closes. Look, it even lifted the screw up. Did you see the screw lift? Number six, footsteps. While their family was on vacation, Redditor internal ad 9783 kept hearing footsteps. They checked the house, but couldn't find anyone. So they set up this camera, hoping to catch the culprit. And this is what it captured. There is quite obviously someone in this person's home. But it's not clear if it's a ghost or an intruder. Many in the comments are leaning towards intruder due to what is captured in the mirror to the left before the light turns on. Take a look. But then there's also something strange that moves across the lower part of the picture frames. A bizarre shadow moves past almost simultaneously with the figure in the mirror. That gives many pause, because it somehow looks like a shadow figure is present, 
and may be what's creating the reflection in the mirror. What do you think? Intruder? Or something far more paranormal? Number 5. Coral Cafe Ghost At around 4 a.m. at the Coral Cafe in Burbank, California, a man was cleaning when he was disturbed by an uncanny being. YouTuber Jerry Lentz shares this footage of a strange anomaly disrupting the early morning prep. Most folks in the comments believe this is the real deal, and they're wondering if this employee felt the spirit grasp onto him. Some in the comments have been to the cafe and claim that they've heard tales about the place. It is also said to have been a favorite haunt of Mr. Horror himself, Stephen King. YouTuber Chet Chetty writes, My friends and I went there earlier today. This was my second time, and my friend jokingly asked the people working there if the place is haunted. Both times we went he asked, and at least two employees confirmed it. Are these stories, coupled with this video footage, proof enough to confirm that the Coral Cafe is haunted? After seeing this clip, its reputation doesn't seem too far-fetched. Number 4. Party Ghost is this ghost the life or the death of the party? Redditor Warthog Unhappy 9979 is wondering why the balloon in the kitchen started dancing and making its way into their bedroom. See for yourself. For reference, the balloon is the black object hanging above the kitchen counter. It's in the shape of a bird. This video has been sped up a bit. At normal speed, it takes about 40 seconds for the balloon to move into the OP's room. After waking the OP up by bumping into them, it can later be seen again, peeking out the side of the door. While this does seem scary to some, like the balloon is on a mission, for others, there's a perfectly logical explanation. Redditor The Stolen One writes, They ride around the house on air currents. Either that, or I unknowingly lived in a very haunted house when my kids were young. Although the OP says there was no heat or AC on, and they don't have central air, many in the comments insist that air is still moving, and air pressure and temperature changes can create air currents regardless. A few think there's a string involved, and the balloon is being pulled into the next room. But the OP argues that prior to the balloon entering their room, something woke their birds up, you can hear the birds screeching in the background. Redditors still say this is normal bird behavior and normal balloon behavior, particularly as they're deflating. Some do believe that there's ghostly involvement, but they're the minority. Are you among them? Number 3. Glitch in the Matrix Is this lady stuck in a Matrix glitch? TikToker MetaCowboy believes so. That's because he's watched her repeat the following pattern. Girl keeps repeating the same thing over and over. She's going to get out of her car. Watch her. She's done this three times. She's going to get out of her car. She's going to walk around the front. She's going to go get in the passenger side. All right, watch her. He says this is the fourth time she's done this, and he's wondering if it's a glitch in the Matrix.
A glitch in the matrix is an anomaly or seemingly inexplicable event that hints at the existence of an underlying simulated reality. These occurrences can range from the mundane, like someone repeating the same pattern, to the profoundly unsettling, challenging our perceptions of what is real and what might be an illusion. One common type of glitch is time slips. People have reported experiences where time seems to skip forward or backward in ways that defy conventional understanding. Deja vu, the feeling of having already experienced a present situation, is often cited as a subtle glitch in the matrix. While psychological explanations attribute deja vu to memory and cognitive processes, some suggest it may be a momentary glimpse into the structure of a simulated reality, where the same scenario is replayed. This woman's reenactment seems like it could be a time slip or deja vu, or a combination of the two. Maybe the OP is repeatedly skipping back in time, seeing the same woman repeat the same behavioral patterns. Or maybe he's simply experiencing deja vu. Is our world just a sophisticated simulation? Although this is the more interesting theory, most in the comments believe the answer is much more mundane. TikToker Donna Allen writes, My daughter has OCD. She would do something like this. OCD, or Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, is a mental health condition characterized by persistent, intrusive thoughts, or obsessions, and repetitive behaviors, or compulsions, that an individual feels driven to perform. These compulsions are often carried out in an attempt to reduce the distress caused by the obsessions, though the relief is typically temporary, creating a cycle that can become debilitating. Common obsessions include fears of contamination, harming others, or causing a disaster, as well as intrusive thoughts about symmetry or order. Common compulsions include excessive cleaning, hand washing, checking locks or appliances, counting, or repeating actions. These behaviors are performed in an attempt to prevent a feared event or to reduce anxiety, even though they are often recognized as excessive or irrational. Judging by the video and the OP's description of the woman's behavior, this does sound very much like it could be OCD. Although the OP said he spoke to the woman after her fifth repetition of this routine, he did not share the conclusion. So, like the OP, we're left to wonder, what is going on here? What are your thoughts? Number 2. Graffiti Session This is a graffiti session gone bad. YouTuber Gorilla Hot Tortilla says it almost ended in tragedy. Here's what happened. After spray painting in what they assumed to be an abandoned building, they found they were not alone. The graffiti artist sees someone in the distance, and they start to panic. That someone follows them. Although they race off into the darkness, the other pursues them. They continue on, but the other follows, and its movements are uncanny. Some in the comments think the pale-faced figure looks like Michael Myers, or the thing nightmares are made of but others are more in tune with the way the figure moves. YouTuber Lola Bunny writes, That thing was sliding and gliding, 
and it looked like he literally flew into that grove of trees. Vampire. Others agree that it's a vampire, and it does seem to fit the bill. If that's the case, prepare your garlic. Number one, she's watching. Don't look now, she's watching. Instagrammer Robson Premiacoas shares this clip of the creepiest doll in the store. Some in the comments say this is just part of the doll's gimmick. Her eyes are designed to follow you. Others are suggesting to yeet this demon into the sun. Is this doll possessed? Or is it designed to be? Even if it is staring at us by design, it definitely shouldn't exist.